Hi folks, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up the Tentec Tribune EMS controller, paired with the Tentec Micro Inverter. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner, we hope this video will be a valuable resource for you. Before we get started with the installation, let's unbox these goodies and see what we've got inside these boxes. Alright, let's start with the controller. I've got the box right here, and it's time to crack it open. Make sure you have a safe and clean workspace to do this. Now, let's move on to the micro inverter. This is a critical component that converts the DC power generated by your solar panels into AC power for your home. So, there we have it, folks. We've unboxed our controller and micro inverter, and now we're ready to dive into the installation process. First fix the mounting feet back side of the controller and slide out the four mounting feet from the back of the controller. Position the controller with its mounting holes and put two screws inside the upper side of controller and the screws head should be smaller than then bigger side holes of controller. Slightly lower the controller, allowing it to hang on the smaller side of the mounting hole. Once the controller is in position, tighten the screws securely. Finally, you can easily screw in the lower side of the controller for complete attachment. Align the micro inverter with the controller on the wall and mark the positions of the mounting feet holes accurately, provided short DC cable length is 20 cementer, so mount it within this distance. If you use provided DC then it just plug and play, if you buy by yourself then the DC connections cable need to be choose according to the distance of micro inverter and controller. Ensure that positive and negative connections are correctly made. Now plug in the AC connection with controller and always remember to secure the additional AC cable port with the cap lock, failure to do so can pose significant risks to safety. Having successfully connected the AC power source and secured it with the cap lock, it is now opportune to turn our attention to wire management. Systematically organize the cables to ensure a neat and efficient configuration. In this step we are going to connect the battery. If you have prepared cable then just plug and play, if not then need to prepare as described in user manual. Ensure you connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the controller and likewise for the negative terminals. Reversing the polarity can lead to equipment damage and safety risks. Plug the AC connector into the grid port of the controller. Align it properly and insert it firmly. The controller is designed for single-phase grid connection. Ensure that the local public grid complies with the provided specifications for voltage and frequency. Plug the AC connector into the EPS load port of the controller. Align it properly and insert it firmly. Ensure that no loads are directly connected to the controller. Use a microbreaker as an intermediary between the controller and any loads. Let's do the PV connection now. PV connection is final step of wiring and plugging. Connect the male and female connectors of the solar panels to the corresponding input terminals on the solar controller. The male and female connections should be secure to prevent any accidental disconnections. Before connecting to PV modules, please install separately a DC circuit breaker between controller and PV modules. Now all connections, wiring, and plug-in are done, so it's time to check the whole system. Check the all the components and devices and turn on the system power button. You will see the LED display light up. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope this installation video has been informative and helpful to you. See you in the next video. Have a great day.